Hello, welcome to the H Makes. I was doing a little mask and tape printing. If you've seen previous videos I posted, you know I'm a big fan of this um, technique. I was making a, a present for a mate, um, and it kind of occurred to me while I was doing it that I could combine some of these techniques, as I've had in the past, but perhaps a little more precisely, um, with my gel plate and use stencils cut to purpose to help me mask off parts of backgrounds and kind of do some further experiments on combining these two techniques. So um, here we go, uh, it's a very quick video, um, let's see how I got on. Okay, as you can see in the intro, um, I've done my print, but whilst doing it, I thought it would be good fun to try some stenciled backgrounds. So here I am outlining my print plate to then cut out the perfect stencil I need. So I'm positioning it on the gel plate here it's a kind of, like I said, it was an afterthought and my print plate happened to be a bit bigger than my gel plate so I've just put a little registration mark there so I know where to position it to get the most out of the space I'm working with. Um, so just inking up, I'm, I'm just playing here, I had no idea if this is going to look any good. Um, inking up with a, a mix of colours, stamping on a few little textures. Um, this is some you know, packaging of uh, some fruit and veg. Um, just stamping in very randomly. I just wanted this to sit kind of subtly in the background. The black and white print that's going over it will kind of dominate. That's the idea anyway. So using my little registration mark there, I was able to position my stencil on, just press that down nice and gently whilst the paint was wet. And sure enough, that just lifted that silhouette straight off the print plate. I was then able to put my paper down onto that wet acrylic and, and pull my print straight off for the background. As you'll see in a second, I didn't really know how it was going to look with the kind of oversized print plate against this smaller background, but it, it kind of worked. Um, obviously, as I hadn't planned this out too well, um, you know, I might give it, give it another go by preparing a print plate that would, you know, more neatly fit onto my printed background. Okay so here's the first print that came off as you can see that silhouette um, really helps with the registration and, and placement of that print plate and kind of encouraged with this I just went on and did a few more experiments this one was a, a more kind of collaged effect I guess you know building up a few sectioning off a few little uh, separate areas again this time I tried something different in that I placed my silhouette stencil down and then put the paper straight over it which came, gave me this kind of like nice glow effect you can see there I've almost got like a kind of border of my silhouette which you know um, as it turns out once I've got my print over the top as you'll see me peeling it back now um, adds a bit of emphasis to your main your main form your main shape or feature which is the the print plate itself yeah so I was pleased with that one Again, another kind of variation tried. Okay, the last one, again, just playing around with textures, ripped paper, some um, netting, and yeah, worked just fine. This one I kept very much in the color scheme, the black and white of the print plate um, that I was intending to put down. Here's some interesting tips for you for inking up um, and registering at the same time. So what you see me do here is tape my print plate down first, peel it back, put some paper underneath to ink up on, but I've also masked off with another piece of paper, uh, the background that I want to keep protected. Um, this just means you don't have to fiddle around with um, uh, an inked up plate and the risk getting mess everywhere and you know mucky fingertips on your work. Um, and there you go, another one done. Hopefully that little tip will uh, save you some bother and some mess. There you go, like I said, it was a quick video. Um, hopefully there's something in there that you can kind of piece together with previous videos I've posted and hopefully um, expand your own kind of experiments, try a few things out if you haven't tried before. Remember, all the usual things, like, subscribe, comment below, share the video, and um, yeah, I'll look forward to seeing you soon in another video. Ta-da.